cold, rainy day in Atlanta. It's nothing worse. Good morning, y'all. So I actually have a lot of stuff I gotta get done before I go to the gym. I just dropped my son off at, uh, at daycare and now I have to go to, gotta go to Best Buy. I just picked up the iPhone 10 for, uh, for my wife and I gotta get her a, uh, I gotta get her a case for it. She drops her phone a lot and uh, as you all know, that's, uh, it's an expensive phone. I'm not looking forward to my wife having any accidents with the phone so I'm gonna go ahead and pick her up a, uh, an OtterBox for the iPhone 10, so she should uh, she should be good once uh, once I do that. I already set the phone up for her. I installed it and everything, but uh, I basically told her not to use it until until I get her a case. So and she's getting calls, but I told her, yo, leave the phone in the box. <laughs> Don't even pick it up out the box. Like pick up the box, put it to your ear, and talk on the phone. Say what you gotta say. Hang up. You know. Just uh, hold tight till I get the case for you. I have to stop by the post office and send back her old phone. There's something else that I had to do as well. But uh, it's escaping me right now. It's actually, it's actually snowing. It's actually snowing, y'all. This is why I left DC. I left DC for because of the weather. And I mean, I knew, you know, they get snow down here occasionally, and, you know, but. I, I'm, I never look forward to it. I never look forward to it. But anyway, um, so I got to get those stuff done, and then uh, and then I can I can go to the gym. All right. All right. All right. Post office. Last stop. Let's go. Alright, so we on our way to the gym now, finally. Once I get there, I'm probably gonna have about a good hour and 30 minutes to work out because my son gets out of daycare at one o'clock. It's the biggest obstacle in uh, in my journey to fitness is, you know, being a parent. Like I always say, you know, I have three, three wonderful kids, um, but saying that i mean it's it's definitely hard trying to juggle uh family relationships uh and uh and fitness you know a lot of times when i feel like going to the gym but uh things come up with the kids where i have to be you know at my son's school or i gotta take my daughter to her appointment or just being home you know while wifey's uh you know at work it can hinder your progress you know what i mean and kind of puts you in the mood to where you don't even feel like going to the gym anymore you're not motivated uh, should I say to you know to want to get fit but I mean you know it's life you know you have your you have your good bad you have your ups and downs I just you know I kind of just focus on on why I do it which is my kids you know what I mean it's funny how having kids is kind of what hinders me from going hard as hard as I want to but having kids is why I want to go hard you know what I mean just wanting to be there for as long as I possibly can just wanting to set that example for my children that you know a healthy lifestyle is uh is the way to go what's funny now my kids uh especially my oldest son always asks me uh always asks me to go to the gym with me they can leave a message but um what was I saying? Yeah, like my son always wants to go to the gym with me. And just seeing that, you know, ever since he was a baby, you know, he would always see me like doing push-ups around the house, just exercising. And that's kind of something he picked up, you know. Whereas I would walk in his room and, you know, I'm seeing him watching my videos and seeing him doing push-ups with his little brother. You know, stuff like that is, is, is really encouraging. And it just, uh, it encourages me to keep going. You know what I mean? And it's it's definitely for the better. So that's my issue. That's that's kind of why I don't go as hard as I want to. That's my bump in the road, you know, in my journey to fitness. But it's it's one that I definitely embrace. 
and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Having the opportunity to be there for my kids as much as I possibly can, I'm in a position where I run my own company uh, from home, so it, it gives me that freedom to be there for my children whenever, as much as I want to and as much as I can, you know, which is something that I would never, I would never trade for anything, you know. My son's daycare saying that they're closing an hour early so I'm not gonna have time to go to the gym see things like that man that's exactly what I was talking about <laughs> but um as soon as I pick him up I'm gonna you know take him home and then I'm just gonna go to the gym at my house what do you do things happen as you can see I literally pulled up I'm here at the LA Fitness and uh then I got the call let's get back on the road all right let's go get my boy oh man Wow, it's coming down bad. Jeez. You got my message? Yes, I did. All right, that's my number. That's not the school oh, okay, number. Okay, that's your number. Delete okay, it. good. Delete it. Delete it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to go? Okay. It's snowing really bad outside. I know. Yeah. Yes, I will. See you guys. Huh? Daddy, Daddy. Yeah? Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. Did you see all the snow? Yes. We're going to go outside. It's snowing a lot. Did you have fun? Yeah. What did you do? Um, did you I show this is the ABC. Daddy, how was the gym? I didn't get to go. I didn't go to the gym because I had to come pick you up. Daddy, how was the gym? I couldn't go to the gym. You see that? They know. Daddy couldn't go to the gym. Daddy had to come pick you up. Because of the snow. Gym time. Let's get it. You gotta want it. You gotta want it real bad. Trust me, y'all. Don't give up. It's gonna seem like it's hard. It's gonna seem like it's pointless, but at the end of the day, your dedication, your determination, it's gonna pay off in the end. And believe you me, you're gonna love it. <laughs> 